uh, from uh, Greece. Uh, I'm Dr. Darlis and uh, my co-chairman, uh, Dr. Yanakopoulos. Uh, we've heard, uh, I think, uh, what is, uh, I think, a very interesting uh, uh, talks. And uh, we would like uh, uh, to begin our discussion as we're waiting uh, for Dr. Netzer to, and Dr. Stamade to join us. Uh, we can start uh, our discussion with uh, Dr. Yanagopoulos. As I can see in the chat, there's no questions at this point. Uh, we're still waiting for your questions. Uh, Panos, uh, good morning. Uh, you described an impressive number of recurrent uh, cubital tunnels. Uh, um, could you tell me how do you manage a neuroma in continuity? What do you do uh, if uh, you explore the, the ulnar nerve uh, and uh, what you actually find is a neuroma in continuity. Uh, Nico, do you mean traumatic neuroma? Or no, neuroma? no. Compre uh, because of uh, recurrent compression. Uh, neurolysis, uh, in most of the times, external neurolysis. But if you see very extensive scar intraneural, you must proceed to intraneural neurolysis. Then, uh, oh, absolutely uh, transfer, transposition in, in front, subcutaneous, I prefer, and then vein wrapping. Uh, can I ask you, Panos? Uh, yeah, the problem is with the traumatic uh, par, uh, neuromycodunity. If you have a, a traumatic neuromycodunity, it's a very, very difficult pathology. You must, put, you must put intraneural to resect the pathological area and then put grafts. If you put grafts, very rapidly, has no, uh, you cannot use very rapidly because the revascularization of the grafts after wrapping, it's zero. Uh, can I, grafts, can I... No vein. If you have not grafts, you can use it vein. All right. Uh, can I ask you, uh, uh, do you think that uh, um, uh, stimula in, intraoperative intra nerve stimulation in, uh, uh, in a neuroma in continuity uh, uh, is something that you, you can rely on? I mean, if, if you uh, stimulate it and it doesn't respond distally, that means that uh, you need to, to take it out and graft it, or how do you how do you deal with it? Do you actually do any uh, uh, nerve stimulation? I think the micro microscope magnification is the more important. Uh, so, so you would leave it alone even if it did not respond uh, to, yes. to. If you have by with a big magnification fascicles. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I don't need to resect this area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're still waiting uh, for Dr. Netzer to come in. I, I don't know, Panos, if you have a question for me, or um, I mean, we're still waiting for uh, Dr. Tistamat as well. I don't know if you have any questions regarding my talks. Uh, then, 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 then I'll keep pounding you with questions from mine. Ah, there, there we are. We have the, Dr. Netzer. Good morning, Dr. Netzer. Hey, good morning. Sorry, I'm in the night. <laughs> the night shift. You're, you're in the night shift. <laughs> yes, I am in the night shift. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'm here with Dr. Yannakopoulos, and uh, we're still waiting uh, for Dr. Stamate. Uh, uh, we don't have any questions on the chat, but uh, I, I watched your very interesting talk, and uh, I, I'd like to, to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, one would be, uh, how do you feel about um, uh, double-level injuries, or uh, about the possibility of having both uh, um, a ulnar nerve injury at the elbow, but also a compression distally? And if you... Um, um, if you ever come across these cases or if you ever prophylactically release Guillaume's canal in any cases? Yeah, I think um, uh, uh, Guillaume's canal is more commonly associated with a space occupying lesion like a small ganglion cyst, uh, or I've even seen a giant cell tumor there. Um, uh, it's less commonly caused by. Uh, 
anatomical constrictions, uh, where I sometimes will have more of a complication uh, with my clinical diagnosis is, is with carpal tunnel and ulnar nerve. And patients will have the classic uh, carpal tunnel sy sy symptoms of waking up at night and having to shake their hand out. And, uh, uh, and yet they say their little finger is the one that is, uh, is numb. And uh, there was a, at some time, there was a, uh, people would do both carpal tunnel and Guillain canal release at the wrist. Um, but I think that's because there's just so much overlap uh, between, the, uh, uh, um, between the median and ulnar innervated uh, sensory distributions uh, with crossover uh, in the hand. And it's also been shown that if you do a carpal tunnel release, you probably effectively are reducing the pressure in the Guillain's uh, canal. So, uh, um, so I'll sometimes do a Guillain canal release in association with the carpal tunnel uh, release. Um, you also need to be sure that you are not um, uh, dealing with a more proximal anastomosis between the median and the ulnar nerve in the forearm uh, to lead to confusion of your symptoms. Uh, but I don't often have a confusion uh, with two levels of the ulnar nerve, say at the, at, the ulna, at the elbow and at the wrist, but I sometimes will have a confusion between the median and the ulna uh, more distally at the wrist. Yes, uh, again, very, that's very clear. Uh, uh, we do have a, a question from the audience. Uh, it's actually regarding me, um, uh, my presentation, uh, or anyone can jump in and help with this. Uh, it, uh, it says that uh, regarding ulnar nerve entrapment at the elbow with dysfunction of the intrinsic uh, muscles, could an, uh, AI, an anterior interosseous transfer uh, have a role in restoring the function? Uh, well, the, this has certainly been described. I have a small experience in, in this, uh, just a few cases, but uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the idea is that uh, if you have a very significant uh, 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 muscle weakness, so intrinsic muscle weakness, uh, you can try and babysit the, the, uh, the intrinsic muscles by doing an end to side. Uh, a uh, anterior dorsus to motor branch of the ulnar nerve at the distal forearm. Uh, actually, McKinnon has put forth some uh, uh, um, uh, EMG uh, parameters that uh, uh, would tell you whether you need to do that uh, or not. Uh, they concern mostly the, the, the amplitude uh, at the, the level of the wrist. Uh, but these are not universally uh, acceptable. I would consider such a transfer uh, if I have uh, some uh, a younger patient, play, uh, let's say like in a, uh, 40, 45 years old uh, with severe uh, cubital tunnel and uh, uh, intrinsic muscle uh, weakness, uh, I would consider doing a, a 